Vice President Maruf Amin on Thursday inaugurated Indonesia's first anti-doping laboratory that's located in Surabaya, East Java. The lab lies inside Surabaya State University's complex. The establishment of the anti-doping lab is supporting the grand design of national sports, or DBON, according to the vice president. Besides the anti-doping lab, the vice president also inaugurated two other buildings inside the university complex, a new building for sports medicine faculty and another building to be used as a training center for young potential national athletes. He says these buildings can support the national goal to improve human development in the sports sector. Collaborating with Indonesia's retail association Aprindo, Scribe Minds and Media held the Indonesia Retail and E-Commerce Summit 2023 on March 15th, 23, last Wednesday. Metro Golden was Adwin Kurniawan as the story narrated by Kartini Sri Chitra. Spend with all the experts. Attended by more than 400 participants, Scribe Minds and Media with Indonesia's Retail Association, Aprindo, successfully executed the Indonesia Retail and E-Commerce Summit 2023. The purpose of the event is to acknowledge and empower the potential growth of retail and e-commerce sector in Indonesia and Southeast Asia market. Indonesia as a country has been a very potential country in terms of retail and e-commerce and we are seeing a tremendous growth in terms of adapting new and latest technologies to improvise the retail and e-commerce within the country uh, to make shopping easier to customize, uh, uh, you know, uh, as per the, uh, you know, customers' requirements, I think technologies and solutions will play a major role. Not only organizing an event and summit to empower actors in retail and e-commerce industry, the initiators of this event also encourage all the participants to do business lobbies and discuss potential collaboration between companies. We've got, say, close to about uh, 400 plus registrations for this event, and uh, the room looks full, and a uh, lot of uh, you know business collaborations happening between bigger brands. Uh, we have a lot of international companies also being a part of this event, uh, you know, especially from India and uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, uh, Middle East, Europe. So big, big potential in terms of Indonesia as a market for retail and e-commerce. Today, most of their operational challenges, uh, it could be delivery failures, it could be proof of attempts, or it could be COD delivery failures, um, or it could be last mile visibility, uh, that is, uh, the communication that happens between the delivery agent and the customer. All of this happens through a communication channel, through multiple channels, but through a communication channel. And having all these channels connected on the back end so that you can give an um, unbroken experience to a customer, um, that is what companies are focusing on today and that is what we are uh, trying to understand how we can basically help these companies enable this um, connected experience for their customer. To extend the potential emerging market, Indonesia's Retail Association emphasized the importance of retail and e-commerce sector to boost domestic household spendings as a part of maintaining Indonesia's economic growth. Aprindo also believes that Indonesia's own retail and e-commerce sector have a huge potential, mainly to cover the emerging markets in Indonesia and to promote local small and medium enterprises. Yeah, potensi untuk pertumbuhan uh, e-commerce di Indonesia, elektronik dagang di Indonesia sangat signifikan. Karena kita tahu ketika e-commerce lokal, berarti akan ada banyak barang lokal di sana. Sehingga uh, kita cukup yakin untuk e-commerce lokal itu dapat lebih uh, maju daripada e-commerce yang betul-betul asing. ya, Yang betul-betul mereka masuk karena memang mereka memproklamirkan diri sebagai e-commerce asing. Tapi kalau yang sudah berkolaborasi dengan uh, pelaku usaha atau sudah bercampur, sudah mix, joint venture, dan lain sebagainya, itu bisa dikatakan juga sebagai uh, elektronik e-commerce uh, Indonesia, tetapi didukung dengan equity dari asing. Misalnya.